Ooh, what it is, my Tenno, Peace and Grease here, and Nightwave is here. Nightwave has landed on all platforms. Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, this is pretty freaking cool. Um, I would take a shot in the dark if I was going to tinfoil hat this. I would say that perhaps there's so much pressure for crossplay that maybe DE's being proactive and potentially going to start releasing updates for all platforms in case, you know, Sony... <laughs> cough. Um, starts to cooperate with crossplay, but we'll have to wait and see what happens long term. But let's talk about Nightwave, what it is, why it's here, how it works. So when you open your star chart, you're going to notice, first of all, the alert tab is pretty barren. There's just not much there. But if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to notice Nightwave. Now for this Nightwave, it is the Wolf the of Saturn 6. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now, this is the alert change and let's talk about why it's here how it works and what you need to be aware of so there are basically two enemies and the first enemy is the saturn 6 fugitive which are these it's underwear wearing grenier as you can see uh they look a little peculiar to say the least uh maybe the idea of them running around in their underwear is intentional i'm not sure uh they definitely look odd to say the least but I guess it is what it is I don't know what's going on with this dude why he's got this weird smirk on his face but okay whatever it is and we've got this fugitive celebrating over getting a Carrick I guess well wait till you use it you won't be celebrating <laughs> all joking aside I know there's a bunch of you guys and gals that love the Carrick I'm just not a fan and then we have this badass the wolf now I would have to say just personally I think the wolf is the coolest enemy in Warframe to date. Kind of has that Metroid kind of vibe to him. Uh, I, I personally think he looks amazing. Uh, definitely the coolest enemy in the game to date. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. Now let me forewarn you, if the wolf spawns on you, and the wolf can spawn just like the stalker does. The wolf will spawn on top of you. He is no punk. Now wait for it, because I'm sure... There's going to be one of those people in the comment section that's like, Yeah, get good, noob. I just throw my Loki decoy at him and he falls over dead. Yeah, sure. But I'm just forewarning you guys. He's a badass. All right. He, he ain't no punk. Just be aware. But let's talk about Nightwave. So basically how Nightwave works is normally when you used to spawn into a mission, there would be a little box at the bottom of your screen that would have like some sort of challenge maybe get 30 pistol kills maybe uh, use your first ability four times so on and so forth well now it's going to be replaced with these acts and when i say acts i mean acts acts not like chopping wood acts ignore my speech impediment <laughs> but each one will award you with a certain amount of standing for nightwave as you can see here, this one rewards 3,000. This one does as well. These award 5,000, so on and so forth. And these range from very simple, like deploy a glyph, to something a little more difficult, like, you know, kill or capture a hydralisk, and everything in between. As you complete these acts, uh, they will move to the bottom with the check mark at the upper right hand corner showing that they are finished. And they actually have a progress bar at the bottom showing you which acts um, you have started to progress as you gain enough standing going from rank 0 to rank 1 is 10,000 and then at rank 1 you're awarded the Saturn 6 sigil as you can see here I'm 550 points away from rank 2 which is going to award, award me the Wolf of Saturn 6 glyph bundle and so on and so forth down the line all the way to rank 30 now <clears throat> excuse me the thing I want you to pay particular attention to here is the wolf credits so at rank 3, 50 wolf creds, 6, 50 wolf creds, 12, 16, excuse me, uh, yeah, no, 16, 20, and 24. Each one of those are rewarding you 50 wolf creds. Now, I'm sure you're probably asking, wait a minute, Peace. If this is going to replace the alert system, where the hell are the alert rewards? Good question. If you look down here at the bottom right corner of the screen, you're going to notice cred offerings. On the PS4, it's R3, but when you click your corresponding button, you're going to 
be presented with this menu. And a lot of these rewards should look very familiar because these are, a lot of these, some of them are new, but most, the majority of them are alert rewards. So as I mentioned, the wolf creds at rank 3 at 50 and 6 and so on and so forth. So the alternate helms are 35 wolf creds. Some of the mods are 20 wolf creds. The skins are 30 wolf creds. Weapons, 50. Bobin, 25. Uh, Oricon Catalyst, 75 wolf creds. Same with the reactor. The Saturn 6 ornament, 40. And Nitain is 15 wolf creds for five. That's three wolf creds each. That's pretty damn cool. Now, I'm sure someone out there right now is doing the math and they're saying, okay, wait a minute. So you're telling me I have to run mission, complete these acts, level my standing up multiple times in order to get 50 wolf creds just so that I can then go into the cred offerings and buy the alert reward that I'm wanting. Yes, but it sounds worse than it actually is because, yeah, it, it, it's definitely more work, but at the same time, you're being awarded for that. So, as you're leveling up, you're getting rewards. At the same time, you're getting wolf creds to purchase those alert rewards. So, yeah, it, it seems like more work, but you're you're definitely being rewarded for it. Now, I definitely want to pay attention, draw your attention to the fact some of these rewards are freaking amazing. All right, even just in the cred offerings. All right, we have got the Tonkor Desert Camo Skin and the Atarax Desert Camo Skin. These used to be in the market, meaning D used to make money off of these. All right, same goes for the Catalyst and the Reactors. All right, even when we look at the tier rewards, weapon slots and Warframe slots, all right? Forma bundles, a bunch of these different skins and cosmetics like Cyandanas, armor sets, you know, more Forma. All of these things DE made money on and they're giving them to us as a reward. That's freaking amazing. That is awesome that DE would do that. So basically, as you begin to complete these acts, the wolf can spawn on you just like the stalker does, all right? And as I've already said, the wolf is no punk. Now, out of all my time tonight, I only had the wolf spawn one time. So you may be wondering, well, that's okay if, if the wolf doesn't spawn, right? Mm, not so much. Because what you need to keep in mind is the wolf does have drops. In this case, the wolf drops the wolf sledge. And the wolf sledge consists of three parts, four if you count the blueprint. So you need the wolf sledge head, motor, and handle. So you basically have to get, you know, four drops, counting the blueprint, from the wolf, which means you need him to spawn. Even if your luck, your, your drop, your, you know, your RNG is freaking fantastic, you would have to have the wolf spawn four times. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's a shame that out of all my, the amount of hours I played tonight, uh, the fact that he only spawned once is a real bummer. Now, the other enemy I want you to, to really pay attention to was the uh, Saturn VI Fugitives. Now, the Saturn VI Fugitives, when you, you're going to notice that when you run a mission, you're going to have three red enemy icons appear on your screen. And the reason for this is because you're going to have these fellows spawn in a squad of three. Now, when they, squat, when they spawn, they're not hard to take out, okay? You take them out, and then just like a capture target and a capture mission, you're going to stand over them, interact with them, and you're going to capture them. For each one of these Saturn Six Fugitives you capture, you're going to get 50 standing. So that's 150 standing each time these three enemies spawn. Now, in all of my time tonight, I had these guys spawn, I know for a fact, three times, but I think they spawned four times total, all right? Four times total tonight. And, you know, the wolf spawned once. Unfortunately, I wish that was reversed, but that is yet another way to gain standing, so keep your eyes peeled for them. If they spawn, take them out, make sure you cap them. 
to get that standing. If you don't cap them, you don't get the standing. Now, this, these uh, Saturn Six fugitives can drop neuroids, uh, convulsion, deep freeze, heated charge, pathogen rounds, and target acquired. All right. So, overall, I would say Nightwave is freaking amazing. It's an awesome update, and it's definitely something that was needed. Now, you may be wondering, but Peace, why did they change the alerts in the first place? Now, in well, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind about the alerts. And the heart. first one is that while the game, Warframe itself, has progressed and evolved over time, the alerts have really largely remained unchanged. And so the updates needed to be, or excuse me, the alerts needed to be brought up to the current level of content. So that's one reason to change it. But the other reason is the player base themselves. Uh, as somebody like many of you, I'm sure, I work a full-time job. On top of that, I have to take care of my daughter. So as much as I want to spend more time gaming, it's just not possible for me. Maybe many of you guys go to school full-time. So we miss out on these alerts. We don't get access to them, so we miss out on these rewards just because we're not able to play the game at that time. So having these alerts, these alert rewards available this entire time as you're playing the game, that's freaking amazing. Because if there's one particular thing you need, just get the wolf creds and buy it. All right? So that really is, this definitely is an improvement. And I think I'm 90% saying that Nightwave is fan freaking tastic. It's awesome. It really is. Um, with all those things said, it's not perfect. There are some issues. All right? So let's talk about those. The first one is the wolf creds themselves. So if you look at the description here, it says it's used to purchase Nightwave's cred offerings. This next part is important. Use them or lose them. Wolf cred expires when the program ends. That's right. They take your wolf creds from you. This is horrible. You know, you invest your time, you earn them, and if you don't use them, they take them from you? That it's just it's just horrible. It's a really bad way. And I, and I know what DE's doing here. DE's trying to prevent players from building up a balance of these. And this is so, so bad. Okay? It just is. The way this should have been handled, the way it should be handled, is allow us to have a small balance of them. Alright? Don't penalize players for having leftover creds. It's just a, a, a ear muppet if you're easily offended, but I'm just because I'm gonna say it like it is, and that is this is just shitty. It's horrible that you would take a player's wolf creds away. Let's say, for example, and let me give you an example here. So let's say I get to rank three, that's 50 wolf creds. So let's look at the big picture here. I already have all these alternate helmets. Don't care about them. Don't want them. I, I don't want two or three. In fact, some of these I even have extra blueprints in my inventory right now. That I'm not going to build. I don't want them, don't need them, already have them. Alright? Same goes for these mods, obviously. Same goes for weapons, weapon skins, woven, uh, things of this nature. I can tell you right now, the only thing I'm definitely looking forward to buying is the Saturn Six ornament. That's it. Well, that's going to leave me with 10 wolf creds. Bare minimum. If I don't get any other wolf creds, what can I buy for 10 wolf creds here? The answer is nothing. There is nothing that you can buy for 10 wolf creds. So, this is being set up to intentionally take your wolf creds from them. And that's not cool. All right? It's just not. What I'm suggesting is that allow us a small balance. All right? Say, I'm just rolling off the top of my head. Let's say we have a cap of 100 wolf creds. All right? That way, if I have 20, 60 wolf creds left over, I have a balance. So what? I'm not hurting anybody. It's not hurting the game. It's not hurting anything. It's just there in my in my balance. And let players know, hey, you better burn them because if you don't, we're taking them. All right? It's just a horrible way to do it. The best way that I can really describe this, you know, IRL, is I hate going to the grocery store after work. When I get off work, I just want to come home. Chill. All right? So when I go to the grocery store, I, I budget out my grocery bill so that I have three days to a week's worth of groceries. How would it be if after that five a week, I don't eat all my groceries that I bought and the grocery store kicked on my door and said, you didn't eat them all, so we're taking them. It's just really, really poor. 
the way that that's handled. And I don't think it's right. I think you should have a small cap and allow players to have a small balance of these. And it's not going to hurt anything. All right, That's what the whole game's designed around. Players establishing a balance of resources so that when something needs to be built, they can build it without having to run multiple missions every single solitary time, multiple times they want to build something. Okay? I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to take my word for it, pitch the idea to uh, DE, hey, just take everybody's balance for resources and make them run a mission, multiple missions, every single time that you build something. Yeah, the entire community would run away from this game. So it's a horrible precedent to set and I don't suggest it. So that's the first problem. The second problem is this little doodad right here. The Umbra Forma. Now, this from Forma and another were leaked and a lot of people debated about if they were real or not. But here it is. So what is the Umbra Forma? Well, basically, when we got Umbra, we got new mods. And those were the Umbral mods. But we couldn't polarize our slots on like other frames, for example, because there wasn't a polarity on our forma. So DE has added Umbra Forma to this reward pool. So what's my problem with the Umbral Forma? Well, here's my problem. Why create a whole new forma for one polarity? When the common sense thing to do is to add that polarity to, hmm, I don't know. What could we add this forma polarity to? Some, some kind of device that allows us to polarize a slot, reset its, its ranking, and make us re-level it again. Huh. Gosh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. What, where can we put the umbra? Yeah, I'm being a smartass. Obviously, you put it in forma. We already have a system. We already have forma. To separate a polarity by itself and make a special forma is asinine. It's so it's so moronic. Think about if every single polarity had a different forma. Can you imagine the mess that that would be? So why even start it? Why even create, you know, create the problem? It's just it's just nonsense. This is this is just silliness. I, it doesn't need to be here. It doesn't need to exist. There's no reason for it. All right. This is, it's just so stupid. So the next problem or potential problem, well, quite simply, it's the, the system itself, the Nightwave system itself. My problem is, you know, as I said, uh, I played for hours tonight. I'm almost up to rank two. I've completed over, well over half the acts and I've already progressed a couple of the, the uh, acts all the way so I'm literally gonna have you know three acts left and those will be done probably tomorrow so these are gonna reset there's a couple dailies that are gonna reset these are gonna offer a thousand the problem that I'm seeing here is how in the hell are we gonna get to rank 30 just doing the basic math of what you can earn per week I don't see how there's going to be enough standing for us to gain to get to rank 30. So I think the standing economy, unless unless I'm wrong, it doesn't seem like there's going to be enough standing to, uh, to allow us to get to rank 30. So that's a potential problem. Now, I don't know until... This runs its course until we get the we get these acts and we run these acts and we start leveling. Um, like I said, I've got you know if, if, if you, even if you take the acts that I've already started. You now this one has two of eight done. This one has one of five. Even if you remove those and say okay, well there's still you know thirteen thousand here. That's still only one rank with those two. With these excuse me these three. That's still only one rank. All right. So, once I finish these two, that's going to get me to two since I, uh, rank two. Because I'm almost at rank two now, anyway. So, I can probably get, with what, we're, what we have currently right now this second, I can probably get to rank 
four. So the big question I have to ask is how long is this event going to run? Because it's going to have to run a good amount of time since the dailies don't provide that much in standing. So yeah, that's something that I'm concerned about. And if you give us a rank 30 but don't allow us to actually get to it because there's not enough standing that we can gain, that's a potential problem. So we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But at this moment, it's kind of concerning, but it's not like end of the world, like, oh my god, like drama queen type deal. Um, but it, it's definitely something that I've got my it's eye on at this point. Uh, the next thing is a D problem the DE created themselves. And that is, this night wave makes the sorting reward pool look horrible. The night wave has two different ranks that awards you 20,000 Kuva each. But yet if I run the sortie, I can only get 6,000. Right? The night wave has two different uh, ranks that each give you a forma bundle of three each. Right? Sorty only gives you one. You can earn multiple catalysts and reactors. They're already built, mind you. But the sorty only gives you one blueprint. See where I'm going? Basically, as, as great as the night wave is, uh, update is to the alerts and I truly think that it is it makes the sortie reward pool look so so bad it just looks horrible it really really does now DE doesn't have to watch my content on the sortie reward pool changes there's some fantastic content creators out there that have made some fantastic suggestions I mean if you really want to know my opinion on it by all means check out my sortie reward pool changes uh, needless to say uh, yeah, that's a problem the DE has created themselves because, yeah, the sortie reward pool looks awful now. It really, really does. With all those things said, I think Nightwave is freaking fantastic. I really do. I think it's fantastic, and I now think this shows DE is learning as they go. As I already said, yeah. um, the Dream. fact that they're giving a bundle of former rather than just one, uh, the fact that Kuba is 20,000 at rank 15, um, DE has figured out that it's not just getting the resources that's important. The amount has to match the economy in game. And I think DE is showing that they're, they're figured that out, that they're learning as they go. And I think I've got to commend DE on this because, yes, this is, this is what it's about, DE. What you're giving us has to match the economy. You know, giving us 500 Kuva isn't going to do the job. But again, the problem is when you start looking at like bounties on Fortuna or bounties on the Plains of Eidolon. Yeah, again, you're creating a problem for yourself. This this one update has created the problem with those reward pools because the reward pools look even worse now than they did before. So that's something that's definitely going to be addressed. The last thing I'll say here is that uh, DE, you guys need to learn that as you if you're going to give us rewards based on ranking then the the rewards need to in incrementally increase. And what I'm referring to is when you look at wolf creds, for example, you get 50 at rank 3 and you get 50 at 24. So, yeah. These need to incrementally increase as we're ranking up. Same goes for Kuba. You know, 20,000 at rank 15, well, you know, should be 25 at, at rank 19, for example. Uh, just, just like the... Uh, Wolf creds, if you're 50 at rank 3, should be, you know, 51 even, or 55 ideally, and so on and so forth as it goes, just so that you show that progress. But anyway, that's the last thing I'll say about that. But overall, Let's like I said, I think next. that the Wolf of Saturn 6, the, the night wave changes to the alerts, is a fantastic update. Like I said, I think it's about 90% there. Uh, the fact that you're taking our Wolf creds from us is really crappy, so I would say that that's you know, take, definitely taking a hit of 8% of my approval rating. Um, the other 2% goes to just those slight changes that I've already mentioned. Other than that, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, we'll have to see if the amount of standing we can earn to get to rank 30 is actually going to be present. Again, wait and see. But overall, let me know what you guys think. I want to hear from you guys. I want to talk to you guys. What do you guys think of it? Um, how do you feel about it? Do you see any problems with it? 
And until next time, peace and grace.